I've had a pretty full day and all I want to do is just get everything off and get into something cozy. So get on ready with me. The first thing that I do when I'm getting undone is I put my hair up because I want to get that out of the way and it doesn't have to like trouble me for the rest of it. This is basically what my hair looks like, nothing fancy. I'm too tired to even think. To take off my makeup, I'm going to use two cotton pads and micellar water. I like to use the Garnier Vitamin C micellar water in the hopes that it one day brightens me. But unfortunately, I don't think that'll ever happen because I basically dance in the sun. And this like takes one swipe and basically most of my makeup is removed. The only stubborn part is my mascara, which takes like forever to come off. Removing my mascara almost always gives me raccoon eyes. Honestly, any tips on how to remove my mascara without it absolutely staining my eyes please comment section thank you so much a moment for the bloody sunlight whenever i go to a spa or something whenever they wash my face they use these things here so i made sure to go out and buy one of them and uh you, th this is what i use to wash my face i feel like it's a lot more gentle but it also gives me a little bit of exfoliation i like to use the neutrogena hydro boost exfoliator together with the pons pombo clear and that's how I apply it onto the thing. And I just grab it all over my skin. I'm not going too harsh because one, there's already an exfoliator to put onto this thing. Two, this thing here acts like an exfoliator. So it does exfoliate my skin also. This just helps make sure that any makeup that's like left behind is completely gone off my skin. Now I'm going to go and take a shower. Notice I'm going to go shower with the soap still on my face. Because I just like to leave it on a little longer for it to activate a little bit more. I don't know if that does anything. I just do it, okay? We're done. Now I'm gonna go in with my Benzac because um, I have pimples. I just got one little pimple there. Okay, well, it's like a cluster of pimples there. Then I have some over here again because I am one of those people who is guilty of not properly cleaning the sides. So we get pimples around there. So I put the Benzac AC5 gel on all of the pimples and I kind of wait like a minute or two for it to basically dry or absorbed into the skin once it's nice and absorbed into my skin the next thing i use is the garnier even and bright night boosting serum 10 percent pure vitamin c don't put a lot of this because it's very sticky on the skin oh it should not fall on my white shirt because it is staining like i'm not even joking my white t-shirt is stained because one drop fell on it this gives me glass skin at night like i love it so much Look at that. Oh my god, I'm so <gasps> Garnier, you better sponsor me because... Okay, now I'd like to give it like a minute or two to just like set into my skin. If you guys have been following me long enough, y'all know I love this product. Clean and clear. Y'all did something with this. This is the salicylic acid one it's the daily moisturizer i use it day and night i actually use it at any given point where my skin is dry i love it so much basically put that all over my skin especially in all the areas where i put the serum because the serum can be a bit tacky don't forget your neck guys now i get itchy around this area of my skin so i use the la roche posay lipid care balm it's basically triple action immediate soothing and anti-itching so i just put it on wherever my skin itches because if y'all didn't know if you are scratching your face you're going to leave lesions it's going so just don't scratch your face too much honestly the nighttime skincare is giving i'm gonna use a little bit of lip tint to just give me a little bit of color just go in like this and over top that i like to use the scarlet hill grape lip balm it's not overpowering i don't like a lot of lip balms because i feel like it makes your skin your lips too oily i can't stand that so this just just moisturizes it okay now we're gonna take down my hair sunlight is like really giving right now but it is also blinding me i'm gonna put my hair in a little half bun thing so not too tight like so And that's the finished look.